what we're going to do in this video is have a read through Comical Primer number two. And it's another uh, anthology, uh, sort of a collection of works. And this was an independent comic book. And it, well, it is an independent comic book that came out in, uh, actually, I'm not sure what the exact date on this is. We'll look it up as soon as we crack it open and look inside. And it was, uh, this character is created by Matt Wagner. And Matt Wagner is, uh, well, he's a legend in comic books. He's he's huge. He's one of the main main players. He's produced a lot of work, and a lot of different artists and writers have worked on Grendel. They've gotten permission to work on Grendel and produce Grendel's work uh, or stories based on Grendel. And uh, this is one of the sought after books uh, from that period. Um, as far as uh, grade of this issue goes. This is probably around, uh, uh, probably around the seven or so. Uh, it's a nice copy. Uh, good for me. I like it. It's got some creases on the on the edge here on the spine. Um, the corners are fairly sharp. Uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, have a flip through this and uh, take a look at uh, uh, take a look at what it what it's all about. Uh, who this character is and uh, and. Uh, and see what his first appearance, what the story of the first appearance is all about, okay? So if you can tell, um, you know, there's little bits of creases here along the edge it lies flat which is really nice uh, the corners are fairly sharp and I would definitely grade this as a little thing here it was folded a little bit I'm not sure if you can see it and again it lies fairly flat it's a nice copy uh, definitely give this uh, you know around the seven seven and a half uh, grade and as far as value goes, uh, this thing's worth, uh, you know, it's probably worth around 75 bucks, 80 bucks or so. Um, and it's a nice collectible for me. I like it. Uh, I like this character a lot. There's a lot of uh, different people have worked on it and different stories have been told, uh, some better than others. Um, and it's, uh, it's a fantastic uh, fantastic little book in my collection the print runs for these were pretty low um, because they were independent and so their funds were limited and this is comical primer is uh, is also the series that uh, gave us the first first appearance of the max right that we've uh, done a reading for here's the here's primer number five we actually read this one I got two copies of this one and it's uh, it's a short little first appearance of Sam Keith's Max. Uh, so we're about to look at uh, Matt Wagner's Grendel, and th these two issues, Primer Number Five and Primer Number Two, are the most sought after issues for this series, for these um, anthologies. So let's take a look at this thing. Again, it's a black and white print. a message from uh, who is this pleasant dreams Jerry Gio, Giovin, Giovincio I guess he's Italian guy Giovinci, Giovincio I'm bad with pronouncing names so let's look at the fine print here uh, this is primer volume number one volume number one uh, issue number two um, is published four times a year by Comico the comic company and they're based in uh, Norristown Pennsylvania primers copyright 1982 comic comical and the comic company characters and their stories are the properties of the creators of each all rights reserved uh, and that's one of the one of the uh, beautiful things about the independent publishers in um, from that period 
all the characters were copyright they were they were a sole property of the creators which is a lot different from a lot of them what the main comic book publishers were doing um, which is one reason that in the early 1990s there was a huge shakeup in the industry with Valiant Comics and Image and people breaking off and creating their own um, their own companies and writing their own characters um, we already read the little introduction for uh, uh, well, this is the primary story but uh, we're gonna go ahead and go find Grendel we're gonna flip through this thing though first but we already read the little introduction that Mag Matt Wagner had written for primer number five so we'll skip this for now and um, flip through this this is uh, my brother's keeper Andrew Murphy 1982 so I guess uh, what year was this yeah this is copyright 1982 so it was definitely mistaken on being in the late 80s or early 90s I should have known this actually 1982 not sure why I slipped my mind and I don't know the story I haven't read this actually have the after this one I believe the next three issues well I'm pretty sure it's the next three issues of Grendel or Grendel number one two and three and I actually have this in my collection as well and uh, maybe someday we'll get a chance to read them and uh, on sale now you can tell the independent comic book publishers they the layouts were much simpler and it's black and white and they're extremely appealing from that period. They're amazing, really. Uh, all of this independent publishing stuff uh, really came. Uh, the the catalyst, in large part, was um, a Canadian publisher, uh, artist, creator Dave Sim, with Cerebus the Art Park. Um, what he was able to do with that series. Uh, was absolutely amazing he, he came out in the late 1970s with the character and uh, and decided to do a 300 issue series and he did it and um, it is actually brilliant and one day I'll uh, I'll go ahead and start collecting those they are pretty expensive the early issues and what's this Judas kiss that's too strong to be denied who's this by this is by, oh, there we go, 1982, Jim Alderman. You can see, 1982, Jim Alderman. He's the creator of this one. What is the illusion too intense to be defined? Why is the Judas kiss that's too strong to be denied? I might actually come back and read these later after we finish uh, Grendel. Let's do this. We're not putting any stress on the spine. And the book sits really well. It's got a nice curve on it right now. So it still has its integrity with the pages. So uh, grade wise, uh, if the cover was a little bit nicer, I would give this an 8.5. But you know, it's got a couple of things in there. Actually, this could be around an eight. I'm happy with it. Very happy with it. Maybe I'll try to grab a better copy. Uh, hard to find them in mint, and they're very, very expensive in mint condition. Uh, graded mint, they run a couple hundred bucks, two or three hundred bucks. Or higher. Higher grades. And Matt Wagner uh, considers these issues to be rough. Um, well, he was just starting out, right? And he 
Here it is. Here's some uh, information about the company. Order information. Copies of primer number one and two are still available. Still available back then. What's the price tag on this? Uh, it was a dollar fifty. Fantastic investment if you bought a whole ton of these back in 1982. For a dollar fifty, you kept them in mint condition. You could sell them uh, for a few hundred bucks a pop, right? Are still available. Uh, Instagram may be obtained. Individual copies may be obtained through Comico, uh, Beck Lab Street, Northstone, Pennsylvania, dollar fifty, fifty cent for postage. So primer is also available in quantity at discounts from these direct comic wholesalers. Ha. Capital City. This was one of the diamond distributors uh, diamond comics diamond distributors in capital city were two of the main comic book distributors um back in uh, back in the day but uh, there was a distribution war in their early 1990s mid 1990s and almost all the independent distributors went bankrupt and basically the only one left that distributes everywhere is diamond comics So let's just flip through this and then we'll come back and have a read through it yeah oh i don't consider this to be too rough i haven't read this one by the way i bought it and i decided to make these videos so i waited anxiously until i was ready to do it to read this i've read a lot of other grendel stories um, and love them there's some amazing grendel stories around uh, not just by Matt Wagner, but by other people as well. Look at this. Comico, the comic company. Here's a little advertisements. Let's see what the ad says first before we get into the grando. Gee, these guys at Comico really know how much fun, how much fun it is to create comics. They love every minute of it and are glad they have the chance to bring their stories to you. Now that they've established themselves, they want to give others the chance to experience the joy of creating comics. That's why they created Primer. Primer will introduce new characters and talent on a quarterly basis. All rights belong to the creators. Isn't that marvelous? If you'd like your story to be printed in Primer, contact Comical fast. Primer next issue is not yet full. Wow. So that's Comical Primer number. This is number two, so they're saying Comical Primer number three is not full, which is probably it's probably Comical number four and five they were talking about. Maybe that's how uh, Sam Keith got his work Max into Primer number five. Eh? Hey. Who is that guy? A bit of advice. Refer to Comico before you actually start your work so that requirements can be s specified. Good luck and happy comic making. Cool. Very cool. I have a story to tell about this, uh, about myself and getting into publishing, but I'll reserve that uh, for later. I got into publishing comic books in the late 1990s or, or sorry early 1990s I sort of did a same type of deal took an advertisement in uh, in Overstreet Price Guide and you know told people I published their work if they sent it to me and if I liked it and I went ahead and I actually did it and published uh, about 16 issues of different comics sell so, comico so let's go read Grendel's first appearance, yeah? Nice copy, nice book, feels good. Let's check it out. By Matt Wagner, 1982. Yes, my child, 
it was a gala event on a most extravagant evening party at the home of the city councilman council chairman everett christie alas evil was afoot unknowns to all among the guests was that sworn enemy of our noble chair champion champion agent that scourge of all we hold dear the evil interesting ring argent how good to hear your snarl argent how good to hear your snarl police 13th precinct grendel you smile oh, who's this such a charmer just calling to let you know that the city council can elect a new chairman i'm going to kill everett christie tonight i'll stop you this guy says or this creature says well this is grendel by the way well i was hoping you'd try you know in the name of the her heroics goodness and all those other ridiculous concepts you're as good as dead clink click he hangs up puts on his uh, tuxedo matt wagner grendel hmm. let's check this out and so grendel his ego satisfied set about to commit his atrocious act got to admit it's a pretty sharp party i would have expected expected it out of slug like christy i would i wouldn't i wouldn't wouldn't have expected it out of a slug like christy well shouldn't have long to wait dear friends please don't write me off as poor uh, don't write me off as a poor host if i excuse myself to attend a few pressing matters in my study enter the evil grendel beware chuckle he's putting on his mask god i hate this social garbage yes chairman i need a snort so bad it feels like my nose is gonna fall off Ooh, he's talking about powder click and he's got this rod glendale grendel ah finally he took christy by surprise let it snow let it snow oh he's gonna do some blow let it snow Doop. ah there's grendel's little staff double bladed let it snow choke he's freaking out Grendel that's the evil Grendel he's named himself the evil Grendel and don't look so bug-eyed he twists his uh, staff around I just stopped by for a chat oh he's not gonna kill him he just stopped by for a chat he took christy by surprise dot 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 flips over and proceeded to ter terrorize him uh chat about what the ring of course mm, i don't know what this ring is ring what ring christy in the underworld even the most well-kept secrets aren't safe from grendel you're the invisible head of the largest prostitution ring in the city oh my all right but we never crossed you christy admits it not directly but it has come to my attention that most of your girls are rather young not even 14. i know like that but but why don't question me worm 
that's the thing with Grendel. He's an assassin, but he has... Uh, he's got his own code, right? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I promise. No more kitty, kitty stuff. Oh, really? Gee, okay. Oh, and he kills him. He just didn't talk to him. He killed him. Look at this. Clock. I guess the double bladed sword here took out his head. Cool. Having killed, having killed, the hideous Grendel attained the tomes he sought and made his way to rend rendezvous with his waiting minions. So he escapes, comes down. Hello, gentlemen. So glad you could make it on time. So he's grabbed something. I don't know what that is. Yes, troops. In my grub, grubby little hands, I hold Everett Christie's personal notes and ledgers. A very successful evening. Ah, he grabbed that information. Now, let's be off. Looks like agent, agent is too late again. Ooh, there's a hand coming around this guy's neck. I guess that's agent, eh? Suddenly, hope arrived as Agent, the wondrous wolf, exploded onto the scene. Oh, he grabbed him by his neck and throws him as the truck head first. Bam. You have one chance, run. I want your boss, but would be only too happy to rip your throats out. Like these guys, they look scared. Like this guy does anyway. I don't know this character. The battle broke out. Bam, bam. Kabam, kabam. Ooh, we just grab one, throw him across. Yarg. Idiot, I tried, but now it's your fault. Oh, he's about to kill him. The guy grabs the stick beside him, smacks the guy in the head. Crack. Arr, he's pissed. Oh, and he oh, splatters him. We mm, went too far. Oh, and he splatters him. And soon only two opponents were left. Oh, dear. Look at this guy's holding his hand, his dripping blood. I wish you wouldn't do that. Got any idea how hard it is for me to get good help when you keep destroying them? So I guess they're serious opponents. Setting up the world. Well, here we are again. Your brutal power versus my electric fork. Oh, it's an electric piece. Electric stuff. It's got sparkles on it. Let gets, let's get this over with as we're about to fight. The struggle was powerful, frightening in its intensity. Oh, he zapped Grendel a little bit, tore off a piece of his clothes, throws it away, jumps on him. Grendel jumps out of the way and he zaps him. Z arg. Oh, great. I've stuck a wounded animal right between me and the notebook. Oh, he's right. Wounded animals are dangerous. Well, not exactly what I had planned, but the cops can take care of the ring. Runaway time. So he was going to give the exposed uh, prostitution ring. This guy stays at the truck. And so, through, though wounded, the valiant wolf succeeded in driving off the evil Grendel, but Grendel remained free. And here's the kicker. This guy seems to be a hero, and he's the anti-hero. But uh, after this issue, Grendel is the guy that uh, 
becomes the main character as far as I know anyway. I haven't read too much stuff with this guy or not nothing from this guy this is the first time. Maybe I have, maybe he looked different. But Grendel is the key. And that's the first issue uh, or first appearance of uh, Grendel, the comical primer number two. Awesome. Okay. And maybe we'll come back and read um, Grendel one, two, and three that I have in my collection. But there are um, really amazing Grendel stories uh, that have come out after that, and they're definitely worth the read. 